Welcome to the 10th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at external style sheets. Now previously we've been using an internal style sheet. And there are three ways to insert your CSS into your HTML document. The first way, as I just said, is an internal style sheet. The second way is to use an external style sheet. And the third way is inline. And we'll get to that in later videos. Now in the last video we had four different HTML documents that we created. We're just going to use the HTML document called normal that we created in the last video. And what I want you to do first is rename that to index and I'll explain this uh, later. And what we're going to do then is open this up and of course here are the style tags that we are using for our internal CSS. So again, today we're going to create an external style sheet. So we're going to pull all of this out and put it into our external CSS style sheet. And it'll look the same, actually. If we, if we open this up, just make a mental note of this, it'll look the same. We're just inserting it in a different way. Now to explain briefly, an internal style sheet is good if you just have one page and you want to just use some CSS for that individual page. But that is not realistic. The more realistic way is to use an external style sheet because your website will have several HTML documents and it makes sense that you want to share some of that CSS. So that's why you use an external CSS style sheet. And that's what we're going to do actually for the rest of the series. So let's go ahead and open up a new notepad file and we're just going to call this style sheet, all one word, pretty simple. And then what I want you to do is open back up our index HTML document. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste all of our CSS into our external style sheet. Now, we'll copy this, but notice we do not need the style HTML tags now, right? Because this is going to be its own CSS style sheet. It's just going to have CSS in it. It's not an HTML document, it's just going to be a CSS document. So we don't need these style tags anymore. This is just if you're embedding it into an HTML document. So let's open up our style sheet. And we'll copy and paste our CSS into there. And there you can see we just have our CSS now. And you can see how this is a lot easier to read actually. It's easier to manage your CSS in an external style sheet. So let's save as, so we're going to do a save as. Um, I want you to select all files and we're going to call this dot CSS and we're going to save this and there you can see we've got now our style sheet that has all of our CSS in it. Now we can go ahead and delete the uh, file we just made here that was just a placeholder and let's go back into our HTML document because we can delete all the CSS now and again we don't need the style tag so we can just get rid of that. And there, that's a lot easier to read actually too. Now we've just got pure HTML, but there's a problem. This style sheet is by itself. So we still have to point to this style sheet within our HTML document. And we do that again within the head HTML element. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this in here because I already typed it out. And this is what I want you to type. All of this right here. So it'll be an angle bracket. You'll type in uh, link space REL and this just says that it's a CSS style sheet and this is the type which of course is CSS and this is the most important one, the href. This just points to where our external CSS style sheet is. Now we're going to put this in the same folder in a minute here so we don't actually have to specify a folder because all of our files are going to be in the same folder. So type all of this out and then I want you to save our document. We're going to close that out. And then I want you to create a folder called website. And then I want you to go ahead and drag our files into there. And now we've got all of our website files in one folder. And actually when I get to the series where we develop a full website, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to actually have all of our files within one folder. And so now if we open up our HTML document, and by the way, the, the reason I call that index is because that is always the first page that gets loaded. That's always the first page in your website. All other pages will be named something else. It's usually either index or default, but we're going to name it index. So if we open that up and you can see it looks exactly the same as when we use the uh, internal style sheet. But now the only difference is we're pointing to an external style sheet and in our future videos we're going to keep this exact format and it'll be much easier for us now to edit our CSS. That's much more readable in my opinion. 
Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will start to look at properties again.